Hey guys, this is Calvin, and today I'd like to talk to you about Warobots versus Armor Attack, which is still in its beta stage. As we all know, Warobots has had a long history now of pay-to-win robots constantly dominating the battlefield, and then a few months later being nerfed into the ground. This has gotten really frustrating, but luckily there is a little bit of hope. I play with this group called Six Pack, and we play with these original robots in custom battles. It is a lot of fun. I highly recommend you join. I'll leave some links in the description if you so desire. Anyways, here is the opening hangar of armor attack. Um, the robots look really cool and the graphics are already amazing. This is only low level graphics. And here I'm going into my first player versus player match. There are still a lot of AI players. Um, but it is still a lot of fun so far. Um, I'll leave my thoughts as the battle goes on, but I'll, uh, I'll try and let you just enjoy the battle. Overall, this is really impressive. I did not realize that that platform would move down. I think these maps are gonna have a lot of fun futures. There was another spot on this map where there was sort of a, uh, a, a moving walkway that you could hop on so that you could go faster. <laughs> the physics there were a little janky as I fell off. Just notice how mechanical the robot is as it walks. Like it's already got a really good feel compared to what Warbox is now. Also look at how cool the flame effects are. And watch how I blow up this robot. Well, I didn't blow it up, but that explosion was pretty sick. how powerful those weapons are. Like they, they've actually got character to them. You feel like you're holding something dangerous. Instead of like a toy fake robot that's uh, like in, in what robots is now. For example, like the Shenlu. What kind of creative junk is that? You just teleport to your enemy, shoot them, and then you're done? This this is way better. And then of course there's Condor. You shoot them and then they heal because they're being shot at. Like that makes no logical sense. It's completely pay to win. But look how amazing this is. Of course, like I said, these are still mostly AI players. I think there's one other player because they don't have like the, the uh, adjective and then a noun um, format as a lot of these other AI players have for their names. Now this this robot is really interesting. It kind of reminds me of the Batmobile with those two forward-facing wheels. So I, I, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Oh, and then this is a surprise when this uh, giant boss robot deployed. It eventually decimates me. And then you can see how it sort of like EMP blasts me here at the end. It's really weird. Anyways, for the rest of the match, I'm pretty much just spectating and it lasts about another minute or so but yeah i think this is really interesting um the graphics are much better 
you can interact with more obstacles. It's not just teleporting like you have in some maps on um, in, in War Robots. Um, the sounds are amazing. You can hear a lot more mechanical um, interactions. And then, of course, the robots so far aren't crazily overpowered. I, I hope they won't ruin the game like Pixonic did. Um, so I'll probably be reaching out to support to to see if we can sort of get a word that uh that they won't do what Pixonic is doing. Perhaps that perhaps that's a bit hopeful, but uh yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying this so far. So let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, D start Digital War Robots, man. Except for Six Pack, if you want to play with us in our custom battles. <laughs> See you around.